this. How am I gonna get back down here? This is scary. Let's try and freak out a little bit. We're about to attempt something we've never done before. Today, we'll be attempting to climb 13 peaks in under 24 hours. The Glasshouse Mountains are one of Australia's most unique mountain ranges. These are short but incredibly steep and rugged climbs. So let me give you the stats. If we complete this challenge, we will be trekking 30 kilometers, of which 15 kilometers will be steep uphills. Some sections will require rock scrambling on 60 degree gradients. That is something we have never done before. We'll gain over 2000 meters of elevation. To put this challenge into perspective, if you calculate the average recommended time to complete each individual climb, it totals to 17 hours. Three to four hours? We don't have time for that. And none of those people did all 13 in a row. Plus, we need to transport ourselves between each trail. This is my mom's car. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Whoa, whoa. There's a limit of having fun and risking too much. Ooh, snake! If we want to complete this challenge in under 24 hours, we better start early. Good morning, beautiful people. It's like 4 a.m. <laughs> it's so early, we thought we'd give ourselves the best shot to complete this challenge. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, it is 3.56. We're starting our first of 13? 13. 13. <laughs> well, first of 13, we're starting with the one of its out of the beaten track, which is Wild Horse Mountain. It's also going to be probably the easiest one because it's only like 1.9 kilometers and it's not that steep either. <laughs> oh my god, it is so dark. <laughs> I promise you this challenge will get much harder later. So our plan is to get a couple of the mountains done kind of in the dark for the sunrises so that we have the best chance throughout the day to get them all done. I'm already out of breath. This is our first mountain. Ooh. Hopefully not too many because it's actually not that nice hiking in the dark. How you can hear? See, there's a lookout there. What are we here? All right, mountain, mountain number one done in like, well, up in 10 minutes, which is pretty good. But like we said, that's our easiest mountain by far today. But like I said, we have 12 more to go and they're gonna be a lot more challenging. Two in particular that we'll be doing later in the day actually require what they call rock scrambling. So basically we'll be climbing up a very steep rock face but it doesn't require ropes or any technical equipment. Now, people have actually been rescued off these mountains before, like via helicopter, because they've gotten stuck. So that's a little bit concerning. Max and I have done a lot of hiking in our travels. We've never really felt like we've been at risk of getting rescued or would need that. So those two are definitely gonna be the most scary ones. We're gonna try and get them done once the sun comes up and hopefully pretty early in the day. So we're kind of like at our strongest, I guess. But yeah, so we've definitely got a few challenges coming up. We'll see how we go. Spiderwebs. 2.11 kilometer. For this one, it's actually one of the two mountains that are actually east and west so it's a split peak this one is a pretty easy one this one is there and back a 2.1 kilometer hike and it is still pitch dark This is it. Mount Kuchin, one of two. Let's go get the other one. <laughs> okay. 
frumos să le tac. Vedeți? 3 out of 13. 3 out of 13. The sun hasn't even risen yet. Feels like we're killing this challenge. We better get moving because our goal is to get to the top of the next one for sunrise. At the top of the next mountain, we'll share our secret goal with you guys. And uh, yeah, this challenge is about to get harder. <laughs> Oh, it's finally daylight enough that we don't need torches, which is good for our third climb. Fourth peak, but third climb. Yeah. Pretty much exactly 20 minutes to sunrise, so no time to waste. We've really got to power up this hill. We're really pushing ourselves to get up this mountain. So excuse my heavy breathing, but uh, oh, what it's so much nicer hiking when you can see <laughs> where you're putting your feet. I think the sun today is going to be our worst enemy. It's going to be 28 degrees today, apparently, Ooh, which is pretty hot. And uh, it's nice, you know, to see, but gosh, it's going to get so hot on some of these climbs. But look at this path. My God. She's beautiful. All right, we are about to reach the top. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe we did that. We have five minutes to spare. Gosh, I hope that doesn't use up our energy for the rest of the day. <laughs> we basically ran. <sighs> we got it. Just on time. Four, done. All done. Nine to go. But we're gonna take a break. Enjoy this gorgeous sunrise. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though it is very packed at the top of this mountain, it is nice to find a little break to sit down and watch the sunrise sunrises and being outdoors and moving my body is some of the best things that I can do for my mental health. So even though right now I actually feel so amazing, so happy, I don't always feel this way. And the life that Max and I live, we definitely have our challenges that are more challenging than hiking all 13 Glasshouse Mountains in one day. So recently, Max and I decided to start seeing a therapist with BetterHelp, which is the sponsor of today's video. So there are so many ways that therapy can help you, but right now our focus is to better understand ourselves and each other so that we can start being more appreciative of each other and understanding how to communicate better. As you can imagine, Max and I have a pretty complex relationship. We not only do we work together, we both have completely different creative personalities. On top of that, we live out of tiny hotel rooms because we're traveling full time and we basically spend 24 seven right next to each other. So even though we love each other, it can be a lot. The thing that we are loving most about BetterHelp is how accessible it is. Because everything is done all online, it means that we can keep up with regular therapy without having to be restricted to who's in our local area or having to change therapists all the time because of the type of lifestyle that we live. If you think that you would benefit from therapy, then click the link in this description, which is betterhelp.com forward slash Max and Jacqueline you'll get 10% off your first month of therapy. You'll answer a few questions on their online form and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist in just a few days. And then you can choose to do video sessions, phone sessions, or if you're not comfortable with that, you can also just chat online with your therapist. And if you don't feel like you got the match with the right therapist, then you can switch at no additional cost. So if you're struggling with anything in your life right now, then please consider therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com forward slash Max and Jacqueline. But the sun has now officially risen and if we are going to complete this challenge, we better get moving. We flew down that mountain, but we totally forgot to show you what our secret goal was for today. So 
The challenge of this video was to climb all 13 peaks in one day. And the reason why that's a challenge is because when we were researching, we added up all the recommended or average times it takes people to climb each trail. And it added up to 17 hours. Plus you have to drive between each trail, which is an hour and a half of driving. So that's 18 and a half hours. Not factoring in that these people would have done one hike, not 13 in a row. <laughs> so we were like, okay, 24 hours or a day would be a good challenge to get it all done. But our secret goal, our secret challenge, hopefully we can make it, is we want to get them all done by sunrise, sunset. <laughs> sunset. Yeah, we've already done sunrise. We want to get them all done by sunset. That will mean we will have climbed 13 peaks in 13 hours, which is hectic. And that includes driving time. Ah, it's getting hot. We bought a lot of sweets and junk food to get us through today. And these are Lovington's. They're an Australian cake. Basically, it's just cake with chocolate and coconut. Mmm, like a bounty. Uh, it was a bit of a battle between whether these are from New Zealand or Australia. Let us know in the comments what you reckon. Plus House Mountains. <laughs> hours we don't have time for that all right our next challenge Biwa, is a very steep one looking forward to have a bit of a challenge because so far it's been pretty easy strolling 12 seconds later oh my god that's crazy look at that How are we going to get back down here? This is scary. Going up is a challenge. The real challenge is going to be when we go down. We just started and we're already higher than the east and west peak we did early on. Come, it's okay, love. You got this. Take your time. This rocky section is almost over. You're doing really good, love. I just need to. So, a very sketchy, rocky introduction to the mountain. And I think after that's a bit more grassland. But this first section, wow, it's no jokes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go all the way around. never done anything like that before so whoa like I feel like we could have just made a video about this hike yeah and that would have been a challenge for us like it is such a mental thing it's so steep I'm pretty sure it says it's a 60 degree angle anyway let's keep moving we don't have a time limit <laughs> like, yeah it's so gorgeous This is much, much more pleasant, this section. There's this, what is that? Like 80 feet? What do you speak feet? I don't know. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Like at least 50 meter cliff. Oh wow, okay. You have to be this small to fit through. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay. Whoa, this.
Okay, oh. not easy, eh? What the hell? What is this hike? But like, wow. can we just take one moment wow. to appreciate this? That is beautiful. Look at that. We really gotta move ourselves because this is taking a long time. And we don't have all day. <laughs> oh my god. Almost there. <laughs> it's a few meters. Wow. Oh yeah. This is it. <laughs> well done guys. Oh my god, this is crazy! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are the flies doing? <laughs> Such an anti-climax. <laughs> well done. Wow. 8.04. Four hours into it. Five minutes since climbed. This nice. one was like an accomplishment of its own without doing all 13. Just the, the rock climbing, the steepness. But the fact that we've already done five peaks that's an accomplishment too, like, oh my god, I'm so proud of us already. Oh. What the hell? This is crazy. These are not regular flies. They're like fruit, I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta go. We gotta head back down. Oh. Whoa, Max, the, oh my god, I have... Oh, I cannot believe There's that. so many around you. Oh. It's like... The scariest slippery slide you've ever done in your life. The worst thing is, is that I know this is not showing up as sketchy <laughs> on camera as what it is in real life. But definitely the way down, whew, way scarier. I made it to the bottom, doing a bit of math. <laughs> But we are still on track. We've got 8 hours and 15 minutes left till sunset. I don't think I've ever drunk a sports drink before in my life, but apparently they're meant to help. Oh, push on. This one is Mount Tibrogagan. I'm probably pronouncing some of these a little bit wrong. This one is going to be really similar to the one that we just did. A lot of that kind of steep rock scrambling. Now that we've climbed five mountains and the last one was an actual challenge, it is uh, starting to feel like a challenge. We're starting to feel a little bit tired and we've still got a long, long day ahead of us. 55 to 60 degrees. I mean, it says experienced climbers only. We did just do Biwa, so that was an experience. Forty-five minutes in, almost at the top. And peak number six. That was so much fun. Way funner than the other one because the rocks on this mountain had so much grip. So we were able just to climb so quickly. Yeah, yeah man, it's hot now. Yeah. The sun is cooking. The worst enemy has arrived, the sun. And what's really cool is that now that we're on top, we can see other ones and we can sort of see, oh, we've climbed that one, oh, we've climbed that one, oh, we gotta go this one next. I thought this one we're early on. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Nice. Very good. Whoa. Risk it all for the challenge. It's gonna come back later when we shoot our pants. <laughs> Conveniently enough, this parking lot that we parked at for the one you see. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> the one you, have, you could see a second ago right behind us. Mount Tibrugargan. 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 It's a tough one for now. <laughs> and then it's parked, it's right next to Mount Tibrugargan. Are you losing it? Tibrugargan. Yeah, Tibrugargan. Tibrugargan. Yeah, we just dropped our stuff, replenished the water, had a drink, had a little snack, 
just powering through the next one. We've done six out of 13. We did two very hard ones. There might be a third very hard one. Oh, just holding the camera today is hard. <laughs> All right, Tibo Wogum, here we come. <laughs> You're out of the sun. I'm so tired. So one of the things that is making this hiking challenge so much harder than a regular hike is because it is 50% uphill and 50% downhill. There's no sections of flat or easy hiking like you would do on a hike through, which would be maybe up to 30 kilometers a day. So not only is it all 50% uphill, we're like rushing it to get it done. Uh, I'm getting really tired. Oh my god. Tibo Wukum, 7 out of 13. And that is the next one right there. So if you don't mind, we're gonna take a little break in the car so we can sit down. If you don't mind, we don't do it anyway. <laughs> But Jacqueline got us a Kirk's. Kirk's? It's Pasito. If you're not from Australia and you're visiting Australia, then get a Pasito because it's fresh. It's oh my God. passion fruit soda, or like we call it soft drink in Australia, but soda. So good. Give me some of that. Mm. But the next mountain, Mount Kui. Because of the birds? No. Oh. It's called Mount Kui. But when, if you've grown up in Australia, like living in like rural areas, the way that you signal to people is by like yelling out, Kui! And then they hear you because it like echoes. Really? Yeah. 10 minute break done. It is 12.43. Let's see if we can do five for five. And this one is 1.9 kilometers. So again, none of them are that long, but they're just spicy. Yeah. So we knew one or few of the trails would be bush bashing. I think we found one of them. So I guess some of the hikes are not as popular as the others. So people don't really use them, so they're not maintained. Snakes. Well, oh, that was easy. All right. Ready? Let's go. Okay, go. Go! <laughs> I don't have a good voice. <clears throat> go away! If you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. That will send us positive energy because obviously we're not going to get it until you see this video, so we will have known by then. But all your help is more than welcome. So, up to the next one now. 142. Let's go for another one. Look how pretty this hike is. Ah, I can see the top. There we go. Right there. 25 minutes to get to the top. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So Mount Kunawarren, I think it's called, which is the really like spiky one that we can see at this view. Um, it's actually illegal to climb that mountain. I think it's just way too steep and way too dangerous. So it's com you're not allowed to climb it at all. So we are climbing the 13 peaks that are climbable. Uh. All to go. Our next two climbs, we have to go down a dirt road to get there. We looked it on Google Maps and it didn't look bad, but now that we're here, this is my mom's car. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> oh my God, we made it here. Because it's so sketchy, it took so long to drive. It's really messed up with our, our secret goal of getting it done by sunset. So there's two mountains back here that we're going to be climbing. They're right next to each other. And on all trails, the average time is like two hours to do each one. The challenge to make sunset is looking like it might not happen. It is now 15.32, so two hours left of actual sunlight. At the end of the day, 
the main goal is to climb all of them within 24 hours. Let's finish this sucker. Ah. It's this thing about touching it. I don't know. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Number 10. Double digits. It's definitely getting super hard to continue on with this challenge. There's too much loose rock. It's hard to keep going because it's like at the end of the day, the only people who are going to know that we failed would be ourselves. Anyway, three more to go. I think the next one's going to be another challenge. Uh, loose rock trail but then after that one I think the next two will be easy breezy lemon squeezy let's go get it done somehow we have not followed the trail we've gone down like a different trail but it's way less used way more sketchy I think like we are running low on energy, focus is dropping. The trail is like over there, there. somewhere. And then careful, careful. Oh my god, please don't fall. This one mountain, this mountain is the mountain that's whooping our ass to the point of like dangerous, you know? Like you should try to stick to the trail. Like obviously, people get lost, like these kinds of things happen all the time. I hate this mountain so much. That's the trail. Oh my goodness, uh, back on the tr loose trail. It's not like it's any better. Well, I mean. At least we know where we're going. Whoa, whoa. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God, tired. This is giving me too much anxiety. Can't feel. There's a limit of having fun and risking too much. Oh, snake! Most Australian snakes are quite timid, but not the Eastern Brown. So if you see it, don't think, oh, I can poke it with a stick and it'll run away. They will actually turn around and like be aggressive towards you. It is currently 10 to five and sunset is in 40 minutes. Now that mountain took us an hour to get to the top plus the way down. And Tumbudla West is supposed to take about the same time as that mountain, as Tumbudla East took. It's also, I can see the trail from here. It's super loose rocks, just like what we went through. We don't have our torches. And honestly, even with our torches, I wouldn't want to do that in the dark. Like it's just not safe. And we don't want to be those people who get injured. So we unfortunately have failed. No, we have not been able to climb 13 peaks in 24 hours. But we are not giving up. There's still two more hikes for us to do, which I believe are a lot safer, a lot more chill, and we'll have our torches for those ones. I'm a little bit bummed that we're skipping one, but it's, I'm still so proud of us. Like we've done so much. So we're coming up to our second last mountain right now. I'm going to read the name out to you. It's Mount Maktibomograi. Maktibomograi. <laughs> pronounce, I don't know how you pronounce that. It is only 1.1 kilometers, the trek, which seems crazy short, but it is 147 meters. So I think it's going to be a little bit steep, but uh, it's pretty short, so it shouldn't take us too long to do. And then Mount Alimba, which will be our last mountain after that, will be... <laughs> Stick around, guys. I know we haven't completed our challenge, but we're still pushing ourselves. We are so freaking tight. Like, there is nothing more that I, that I want to do right now than quit and go home. Oh. 
Yes. Ah. We here. Number 11. One more. That one was shit. <laughs> Whoop. You okay? Yes, just let me. Whoop. And after exactly 40 minutes, challenge is a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, our last mountain of the day mount alimba let's go we were wondering why why are we doing this like <sighs> see this is a nice trail oh snake oh oh my god i literally walk right on it holy moly Ooh. i have no idea what kind of snake that is is it a python yeah see we shouldn't be doing this at night time Really? They can't take me further. You don't want to go? There's no horse allowed. <laughs> Guys, it's pitch dark. There's snakes, there's bats. And we can't see anything. We're going to leave it here. <laughs> it's just getting to the point where it's like, it's sketchy. We're going to call it quits. We got 11 and a half out yeah. of 13. 11 and a half out of 13 in 14 and a half hours. Which is not the goal that we've initially set out but realistically the point of this video was to push ourselves and challenge ourselves and that we definitely did so just for all the people who have goals it's not necessarily about reaching your goal but just like pushing yourself as far as you can